So Sakota so AI, um, inside of the description editor, this is a common problem with a lot of teams is, you know, they have a ton of descriptions that they want to keep up to date, but it's pretty tedious to go in and to make sure that those descri descriptions are, are actually up to date. This is a problem that I've actually experienced myself. Um, you know, I have a ticket to go in and make sure that all of our um, critical, we're calling them like critical data um, resources are documented. So if you look in here, I have done an okay job with some of the critical data, but not a great job. And the reason why is just because I keep putting off this task because it is a tedious thing to do. Well, with the new AI inside the description editor, makes this job a lot easier. So what we're doing is you can see that there's this new button called Generate Description. What it does is when I click this button, it's going to automatically create a description for this table. It matches the tone, the length of writing, um, and other characteristics with other descriptions from your workspace. And it brings you in a description in like a second, which is really, really powerful. If you look at, you can see this is a, an actual uh, accurate description. Um, like I said, it's based on other descriptions in your workspace, but then it takes in metadata from you know, the table itself and related uh, resources to this table. So you can either you know try again to generate another description, you can reject it, or you can keep it. I'm going to go ahead and keep this because it's a great description. So that's a way to do it um, for a single uh, resource description, but you can actually do this in bulk. So if I want to go ahead and just you know get the task done and and add descriptions to all the different uh, resources here. I can do that. You can see that there's a button up here, apply AI description. If I go ahead and click that and generate, it's gonna automatically override any descriptions that are in there. Um, but you can see that it, it uh, generated the descriptions quite quickly. So that's on a table basis. Um, what we can also do here, if I go to the tags and I look for the critical data assets, um, if I go inside of the actual table, this is another really uh, useful way of using the feature. So if I click the, the top checkbox here and then I do uh, shift select, I have all the columns selected here. And then right away I can go in and I can add a description to all 18 of these, these columns. It goes in and in a matter of seconds, it will apply all 18 descriptions. And I'll refresh the page and Voila, you could see that I have um, you know, descriptions that are pretty concise and very accurate for all of the 18 columns in this uh, integration table. So very useful feature. It'll really speed up the ability for editors to go in and you know, get to 100% uh, documentation with respect to descriptions. And uh, yeah, it'll just make it easier for people to go in and understand the resources that they're looking at. So. Hopefully this is helpful. We're excited to release these two new new features. Um, also just want to shout out Vinoth and Cash, who were the ones that worked on this uh, AI description, um, you know, having the Sakota AI embedded in the description editor. So great job on, on both those features and hopefully uh, all the users enjoy it. Thanks.